Hey everybody, what's up? It's Jacob here with NextGenerationAcoustics.com, and today we are going to talk about the age-old question that it seems every guy wants to know, and that is, does size matter? And no, we're not talking about that size. Get your mind out the gutter. We are talking about panel thickness, and does it matter? The answer is yes. And if you take a look at our acoustic panels, the easiest way to break it down is this. The 1.5 inch thickness absorbs treble, a little bit of mid-range, and little to no bass, just a touch. The 2.5 inch thick panels absorb treble, mid-range, and a little bit of bass, but significant more, significantly more than the 1.5 inch thick panels. And then the three and a half inch thick panels are full frequency absorption. So think about this, one and a half, treble, a little mid, no bass. Two and a half, treble, mids, and some bass. And three and a half is trebles, mids, and bass frequencies, full frequency absorption. If you want to take a look at our bass traps, similar, similar concept. The three and a half inch thick is got a great frequency absorption uh, for the full spectrum, especially based upon the placement. But if you want to throw a little bit more money and get the thicker size, you can get a awesome performance in the upper uh, and lower frequency spectrum on our corner bass traps. So that brings me to the next thing that I want to talk about. And a lot of times in the industry, we see people putting up panels on different posts and forums that are like six inches thick, eight inches thick, 12 inches thick. So why, why do you see this so much? And I, I like to think that sometimes people, you know, there, there's a lot of times people just think bigger is better, throw more at it. But we need to talk about something very important, and that is diminishing returns. So if you look at the law of diminishing returns, it's, it's very similar to, or you can apply it to panel thickness, Okay. Whenever you add an inch more in thickness and you go from a one inch thick panel to a two inch thick panel, you get a huge improvement in the frequency absorption coefficient and noise reduction. If you go from a two inch thick panel to a three inch thick panel, you get a huge improvement as well. Same up to a four inch thick panel. But once you go beyond four inches thick or five, after that, you're, you're adding more weight, more material, more density to the panel, and it's not improving the frequency response much at all. So it's very similar to the law of diminishing returns. Let's take a look at this. This most productive zone, that's going to be up to four inch thick panels, okay? Every time you add an inch of thickness of material, you're gonna get an improvement in the frequency absorption coefficient. Once you get beyond four, you start adding uh, a thickness, you might get a little bit of improvement, but you start getting a diminishing return. And then you have the a negative return. Now, what would be a negative return on <laughs> a panel that's too thick? Well, it would be that, let's say, for example, you're making a panel that is eight inches thick. You're, you could have made that into two panels or ordered it as two panels, had two different placement positions and gotten essentially the same frequency response out of your room. So you're going to end up th basically taking the budget that you could spend on more panels or more materials and throwing it into your room and to making the panels a lot thicker instead of doing more coverage percentage when coverage percentage is a lot more uh of, uh, of an effect has a lot more of an effect on the outcome of how your space sounds than just adding a panel making it thicker okay so if you can add two pan two panels in two places you're going to get a lot more of an improvement than they're just one panel in one place that's thicker simple physics and room coverage percentage broken down into there so that would be a negative return would be that you will actually lose money and lose value on your materials and 
the treating your space that specific way. So I really hope that that helps out. I'm just trying to clarify what's the difference between the different thicknesses, why ours only go to a specific thickness. And another thing too is when you're shipping stuff across the country or across the world like we do, you have to also calculate shipping. So when you're doubling the thickness, it's going to add so much more weight and increase the shipping rate so much higher uh, when you're not even necessarily getting much of an improvement, acoustically speaking, whatsoever. So that's, that's going to be another negative return on going thicker than some, going excessively thick on your panels in your room. So I really hope that helps. Okay, so I thought this was pretty funny. What we have this week is we have Blink-182 is apparently recording a new album. So I brought this one up because it seems relevant. And they were getting pretty hammered on in the audio community because of this room that they're using right here with absolutely zero acoustic treatment. And it says, recording a little bit today, the new studio is much more conductive for a testicular vibe needed to create Blink-182 music. So everybody, I hope that that was able to help y'all out. Y'all make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And I'll be back with you guys real soon to talk about more acoustics-related things. Peace.